So, you need to get Blender's Film with Gamma into your After Effects with Linear Workflow. Let's get it done. You want to make sure these definitely match. First thing first, let's go to the internet. You want to go to the site right here, and you want to download Pro EXR. I'm on Windows, so I'll go ahead and download that. Also, you're going to want to go to this site as well, and you're going to download Open Color IO for After Effects. Both of them are completely free. Save that as well. Now we're going to go ahead and open that up. And we're going to extract. I'm going to use 7-zip. And we're going to extract the other one as well. Perfect. Now I just need to install these. So what you're going to do is you're going to open up another folder. And you're going to go to C, Program Files, Adobe. Whichever build of After Effects you're using, I'm currently using CC 2019, which I know is out of date. Support files, plugins, and then you're just going to literally take the first open color IO. You're going to take that and you're going to drag it in and drop. I already have it installed, so that's why it says that, so I'm just going to skip it from you. And you're going to do the same thing with Pro XR. You're going to click After Effects, and you can go ahead and add all of these in there. And same thing, I already have them installed, so I'll just X that out. Next, you're going to go back into After Effects. Okay, now in After Effects, the first thing I'm going to do is import my EXR. So I'm going to go over here and hit Control i And this is for import. It's uh, Mine's a sequence, so make sure open EXR sequence because mine's an animation. And you always want to export an EXR when you're doing linear workflow because it stores all the data. I use a multi-layer EXR, so all my passes are stored in one file. It's important that you go to interpret footage in main. And the frame rate will always say 30, which is not right. Mine's 24, so make sure you change that. Hit OK. You can just drag it onto this little icon right here. That'll make a new composition. And then, do you see where it says 32-bit? Yours will probably say 8 by default. You want to make that 32-bit. And also, by default, yours will probably say none. You want to change that to sRGB. And generally, when you do linear workspace, you want to do linearized working space, which is technically correct. But in this case, we don't want to do that because it's going to double linearize our image. So in this case, we're not going to do that, even though normally it would be correct, but not in this case. Hit OK. So you see absolutely nothing. That's because we need to add the extractor plugin. So type in extractor. It's right here. Drag it on top. You're going to click where it says layers. And I have three passes because mine's a multi-layer EXR. Images is what I'm going to use. Image will appear. The gamma is all completely wrong. And by the way, if you export something that's not EXR, let's say like a TIFF or a PNG, the game will be baked, which is not what we want. Linear workflow is raw and basically unhurt, so we don't want anything baked in. So that's why you always want to use EXR. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add the other plugin that we installed, Open Color IO, and we're going to drag that on. And normally what you do, this is not going to work. You have to do a little fix, but I'll show you what normally you would do. You go to Custom, and then you go to your Blender. So C, Program Files, Blender Foundation, click on your ever build a blender, data files, color management. You normally would import this file right here. I'm actually going to copy where this is located. This is actually not going to work. It's going to give us an error, but I'm going to go ahead and click it just to show you that. Sanity check. So yeah, this is an error. So I'll show you how to fix that. Hit OK. We're going to go and we're going to open up back where we were, which was C, Program Files. Blender Foundation, whatever build you're working on. And data files, color management. Okay, so we need to open this. So we're going to open up your notepad. Make sure you right click and do it, run as administrator. I want to give a huge shout out to Brandon Bowles for figuring out the code to make this work in After Effects. He's also the creator of the Open Color IO plugin and the Pro EXR plugin. So let's go down right here, the XY. So I'm just going to highlight over that and I'm going to paste my code. You can just copy my code. So basically we added a space, we added a hashtag, added some spaces, hashtag need a general default, and then default colon linear with a capital L. And we're going to save that. File, save as, change it to all files, change it to AE. We don't want to change the original file because that could do something to Blender later on. So save. Good. Let's go back to After Effects. So we're going to go to Custom. And it's like what we just did. And now it'll work. It still looks wrong because it's linear and linear. And so basically, it's just linear, nothing's applied. For the output spaces, we're going to change the gamma. We're going to go to Display. And you see Filmic sRGB. 
And there you go. It's exactly the same gamma that's in Blender. And I'll pull Blender open real quick. There you go. You can see it's exactly the same. So that's how you achieve linear workflow with Blender to After Effects while also using the gamma of Filmic from Blender. If you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe. If you not like this video, hit the dislike button twice and I'll see you around.